Hey guys, it's Shannon and I am back with another jigsaw puzzle haul. Plus, I'm going to show you the puzzles I've completed recently at the end of the video. Plus, I'm actually going to also show you my jigsaw puzzle photo album book that I spoke about in the last video. So we have a lot to go over today, so let's just go ahead and get started. The first puzzles I'm going to start with are actually some puzzles I picked up at the Goodwill bins when we went there recently. We don't have a bins near us, but when we do get to go, I always like to pick up puzzles. Uh, they charged a dollar each for the puzzles at the bins. Now, I don't know if all the pieces are going to be there. Probably a lot of them aren't, but for a dollar, I'm willing to take a chance. So the first puzzle I picked up here is by Buffalo. It's in the Amazing Nature collection. It's Catching Memories. And I picked up another Buffalo Amazing Nature. This is the Magnificent Undersea World. And let's see, two from Seco. This is a 550 piece by Arturo Zaraga. And Seco, I feel like they don't list names on the boxes, which is kind of irritating, but I like their puzzles, so I buy them. <laughs> but there's that one. It's a really pretty cabin and waterfall. I could live there. And then, oh, this one does have a name, Weekend Retreat. 550 pieces, just another pretty nature scene with a cabin, um, looks really nice. And then last one I picked up was this one. Let's see, who is this by? Oh, a Eurographics puzzle, 1000 piece yoga cats. Get in touch with your inner kitty. <laughs> I really hope all the pieces are here. I have not built a Eurographics puzzle yet. So um, this will be fun. A dollar is a fantastic price. So five puzzles, five bucks. You can't beat that. Now onto the puzzles I paid more for. <laughs> um, I showed this one in a recent garage sale haul video we did, but I picked this up. I think, yeah, it's Seco Disney. There are five puzzles inside. I only paid $2 for this at a garage sale and two of the puzzles have been opened, but she said all the pieces were there and then three are still sealed inside. So that was a good deal for $2. Now, next, this was an expensive puzzle, but I had to get it. It's a Robinsberger puzzle. It's in the uh, Linda Jane Smith vintage. It's Crazy Cats, Tom Cat's House Plants. There's a whole series of these really cute cats. And um, I probably, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, I'm probably going to pick up more of these eventually, but not right now because I have a ton of puzzles right now. This one I picked up, this was out of stock on Amazon for a while. This is, um, Elena Essex, the Christmas Cornucopia puzzle. It looks just so beautiful. Um, I had wanted to buy it and it went out of stock. So when it came back into stock, I picked that one up. This one I actually got on a really good deal on Amazon. This is a Ravensburger from the Vault collection. This is Pluto. It's uh, Treasures from the Vault. 1,000 pieces. I think I ended up getting this puzzle for $11, which is amazing for a Ravensburger puzzle, especially a Disney one. And I think that this puzzle on Amazon, this is actually, these are hard to get, the Educa brand. This is a 1000 piece. It's a Disney, the Disney 100's selfies collection. And I just think this looks so cute. I love Disney. I love Disney puzzles. And this selfies one looks like a lot of fun. Almost, I feel like you could build each little section as an individual kind of puzzle. Okay, next up. This is a Seiko puzzle, Disney Thomas Kincaid Studios. This one is so pretty, but I think it's gonna be so hard to do. Uh, Mickey and Minnie are out like on the dance floor and there are people filming and like directors and stage lights. I don't know. It just looks really cool. But again, I think that one's going to be difficult. 
Next up, this is one Paul picked up for me recently right now at Target stores. They have, I think, a collection of nine or maybe 12 puzzles in tins. They are by Seiko. This is gonna be part of the Disney 100 and it's Mickey and Minnie in the Tunnel of Love. Um, again, I think this is gonna be a really hard puzzle to do because I think all this border is gonna look the same, all those flowers, but the puzzle is so pretty and it was $10, which I think is a great price for a puzzle in a nice collectible tin. This puzzle was a fantastic deal. This is from Amazon. This is Walt's Plain Poster Series. It's by Seiko. You get five different puzzles. This is not one I normally would have purchased because the images are not as striking to me, but five puzzles inside. You have two 300 pieces, two 500 and a 750. I got this for $6 on Amazon, so I had to pick it up. I think it was originally from D23 or something. But this one bounces around in price on Amazon. So if this is something you're interested in, watch it because it does go pretty inexpensive at times. Okay, these are two puzzles that are not new purchases. They've been around for a little while. I don't remember if this one was ever shown. Paul picked this up at the Goodwill bins, I think one day. So just a sunflower puzzle. I don't know the brand. Spin Master. And then we have this one from the Disney store. I've never put this one together before, but I think it's the perfect time of year. It's only 500 pieces. It says it has glitter. So let's see, there's the full image. You know that's old because the Disney store is not around anymore. Um, okay, a few more right here. This is gonna be a pin to puzzle, which I have recently done, my first pin to puzzle, and I loved it. <laughs> Does this one have a name? Uh, Halloween party, maybe? It's so cute. I also have another pin to puzzle, I think. Is this pin to? Yes, the Halloween kitty cat. So I missed the season, but I don't mind. I will do Halloween Christmas puzzles year round. It doesn't bother me at all. Speaking of Halloween, another one. This is a Seiko puzzle from the Thomas Kincaid Studios. Uh, there's the full image. This is gonna be really hard to put together too, I think, but I had to get it. I love Disney, I love Halloween. We have a Squish Mallows by the OP Puzzles, 1,000 pieces. Let's see, uh, that's the full image right there. So super cute. I love Squishmallows. I think that'll be a fun puzzle. This one is from Masterpieces from the Classic Fairy Tale Collection. And this is Alice. It's called Tea Party Time. I loved that. Two more right here. We're getting there, guys. <laughs> these are two new Amy Stewart puzzles. This one is the Winter Reading Nook. And these are by Buffalo. I thought this was so pretty. I just want to sit there with those kitties and read a book. And then this one is called Cookies and Cocoa. And this is actually one that you can get in the tins at Target right now for Christmas. So that's a really cool puzzle. Um, I just recently got this. This is an advent calendar puzzle, 1000 piece. I've never done an advent calendar puzzle before. Um, Now that I'm looking at it, I don't know that this is licensed. I'm not thinking this is licensed. Okay, well, I bought it on Amazon. It was $20. This is a Winnie the Pooh picture, which is super duper cute, but I, I'm i not seeing anything that says Disney anywhere on it. So if you guys know anything about these, let me know. Um, I wouldn't think it would be selling. They had so many on Amazon, but you can let me know. It's really cute though. I'm looking forward to putting it together. I love Winnie the Pooh. And then the last puzzles I'm going to show you for the haul section all came from Walmart. Pull them closer. Um, right now for Black Friday, they're doing early Black Friday deals on Walmart. By the time you see this video, it's probably going to be after 
um, Black Friday, but they'll probably still have the puzzles. They're doing these giant, I think they're all by Seiko. Is this Seiko or is this one Buffalo? This one's Buffalo. They're doing these three packs of puzzles for $10, which is amazing for a licensed puzzle collection. So you get a 300 piece, a 500 piece, and a 750. This is the Star Wars collection. My box came a little bit destroyed, but really good price for the puzzles. Um, I think the rest of the, oh no, here's another Buffalo. And they had more than what I purchased. These are just the ones that I purchased. Here's a Pokemon collection by Buffalo and they're all Christmas. And then the rest of these are Seiko. So we have the Thomas Kincaid Studios. These are gonna be just wintry um, houses. Here's another Thomas Kincaid Studios, but this has a Christmas story, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, and Elf. And Lilo and Stitch. This is so cute. I can't wait to build all these puzzles. And then we have Nightmare Before Christmas. So lots of amazing puzzles. Um, I have my work cut out for me. Now let's go ahead and talk about the puzzles I completed over the last little bit. Sadly, there weren't that many because we have been so busy. It's been an incredibly stressful and busy month for us. So I didn't get that many puzzles done, but I did get a few. Um, this one also should count for the haul. So this one was an early birthday gift to me from one of my sons. He knows I love the peanuts and I love Halloween and he saw this puzzle come out. This is a Japanese puzzle. It's by the brand Epoch or Epoch. And he bought it from, yikes. <laughs> he bought it from Amazon Japan. So it's the peanuts Halloween. Um, this is one that I have built. So I will insert a picture of the completed puzzle for you. This was so much fun. I need to get more puzzles by this brand and specifically more in the peanuts collection. I know they have Disney as well, but it was so much fun. The quality was amazing and I had a really good time with this one. Here is the pin two puzzle I was telling you about. So again, I will insert an image. This is just the empty box because this puzzle I am leaving put together and I am hanging it up in my office. I uh, love this one. It reminds me of my kitties. Next up, I have a Pokemon puzzle by Buffalo. This was a 400 piece puzzle and it's in the family puzzles line. So the pieces start out really big on one side and then get smaller onto the other side. Um, this is fun and I thought it would be one I would want to keep because I love Halloween so much, but I'm actually going to be letting this one go. I have so many puzzles, I can't keep them all. <laughs> Here was another Halloween one. This is Cobble Hill, a 500 piece, and I think it was called Halloween Treats. This one was a lot of fun to do, and I love the like linen-y kind of texture of the Cobble Hill puzzles. And last one I completed recently is gonna be from this Buffalo Pokemon four pack. I did this one right here, which was a 300 piece puzzle. So I have done that one, the pink one, and this one. So one more puzzle to do, and then I will be moving this on to a new home. So some of my puzzles I'm trying to sell online, but if they don't sell, I have found out near me, the library system sometimes does puzzle exchanges. So I'm gonna be looking into that because I would love to go exchange puzzles with people. So some of the money I spent, I don't have to spend more, but I can still get new puzzles. Last thing I was gonna share with you is my completed puzzle photo album, which I have right here. I purchased several of these albums, hoping eventually I'd fill them all up. And what I like to do is once I complete a puzzle, I take a picture of it and then I record it in here. And then I can look back through and see the puzzles I've completed. Now I know some people, I actually saw this on somebody else's channel on YouTube and um, she was just keeping track of her puzzle collection. So every time she gets a puzzle, she puts it into the book. That would be a great idea too. That is not something I have done. I'm just tracking completed puzzles. But I have this photo album and let's see, 
I don't know if you'll be able to see well. Let me move some of these puzzles. So this is what I do. I take a picture of the completed puzzle and then over here I list the name, the brand, the number of pieces, and the date I completed it. So there's that page. I'll just show you all the ones and I only started that this year. So these are going to be just puzzles I have completed in 2023. I think I'm up to like 35 puzzles or something completed. So here's more. And honestly, like probably once a week or so, I just kind of flip through this book just to see the puzzles I did just because I enjoy it. I enjoy looking at it. Let me see. Kind of hard to flip that way. Here's some more. So not all of these have been shown on the channel because we weren't doing the channel back then. Um, but I was still tracking the puzzles. So this is something fun you guys can do if you love puzzles too, but don't want to hold on to all of them because space is at a premium or you're just trying to declutter or whatever. You can build the puzzles and then keep a photo album um, just showing the completed puzzle so you can always remember the ones that you have finished. So here you can see I have the names written in, but I don't have the pictures yet. And same way, I have four here that I'm waiting on pictures. That's because as I complete the puzzle, I go ahead and put the info in here. And then I wait until I get a group of puzzles completed to get the pictures developed and then I fill it in. So anyway, that is that album. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing that. Thank you for watching the video. If you love jigsaw puzzles, let me know if you have any content up either on Instagram or YouTube or whatever. I'd love to see it. And um, yeah, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.